Let's cover our tube bender. Now, this is what we use to make all of our tube chassis or some of our furniture stuff or anything we gotta make any sort of bend in tubing. We can bend round tubing and square tubing on this machine. Really simple machine, easy to use, uh, especially when we're using it in conjunction with our Bendtech software. It makes this whole process a lot easier, it takes all the guessing out of it. Now, let's say we were needing to make a bend somewhere on this tube. I've already went and put a mark on this and I always make it a habit to put a mark all the way around your tube. It's not always necessary, but sometimes we have to rotate this, this tube periodically just depending on your project. And if we only put a mark in one spot, by the time we rotate it to whatever angle we need it, you're not gonna have a mark there anymore. So it's always a good habit to just mark your tube all the way around. So we'll line it up. If you can see, there's a zero right here with a dash mark. That's where we're lining our tube up with. Now, if you're using Bentec software, then on this, you would have a star. Okay, you're gonna have, or always put a star on the end of your tube that you hooked your tape measure from to put all of your dimensions down on your tube. That gets fed into this tube bender die first. If you have it flipped, well, then all of your, your bends are gonna be off and they're not gonna be how you designed it in, in CAD. So line it up on the zero and we'll swing this guy over. And you'll know if this is set up correctly when this guide, this is what rides on the tube, uh, it needs to be about an eighth of an inch gap between this center die and this guide. If it's any greater than that, then we've got to adjust this and you just do so by taking those Allen bolts out and using that Allen wrench. Now, if we want to make a bend to let's say 45 degrees, because metal has memory and it will spring back, we need to go past the point we actually need it to be. So I just know from doing a handful of these that we use 083 tubing, that's the wall thickness. And with that wall thickness, we have to bend our tubing six degrees past where we actually want our achieved bend to be. So if we want our bend to be 45 degrees, we're gonna have to set up this tube bender at 51 degrees. And we have an auto stop uh, dial here, and it's got a just a thimble bolt on the bottom, and it's got, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but there's a ball bearing that rides on the edge of this plate. Now, if you go too loose with this bolt under here, then what happens if you watch that then comes off this plate and when you tighten it up on whatever angle you wanna do, it won't run, it's not gonna even move for you until you get that ball bearing set back up on the edge of this plate. Now, when I go through and set this up, if I'm wanting it to go to 51 degrees, I set it up so that I can just see the white of the 51 dash mark to the side of this red arrow. Okay, I've got it set up so it's just to the edge of that and we're good to go. We don't have to really wrench on this thing, make it super tight. Just get it snug so that it's not gonna move on you when you're making your bend. So we've got the auto stop set. It's in the, the vise here against the die and we're ready to go. The power button here, or power switch on the back. This guy's pretty quiet, so always make it a habit to turn this machine off when you're finished. It can be pretty hard to hear this, make sure it's even on or off in the shop when everybody's getting to work. So always just make it a habit to turn it off. Now, the safety thing with this machine is before we make a bend, I want you to clear anything that could fall down in between these rams. 
This is our angle finder. This is usually attached to the end of our tubing. This is how you can make the rotations to make those complicated bends. One student was making a bend and I used to have a different one of these that were a little bit thinner and it had fallen in between these rams because they open up as you'll see when I make this, this bend. And after he had made his bend, the fixture that holds this angle finder was in between the ram and this main frame piece and as it closed and these rams closed on it it bound up in here and then shot out of there with some pretty good force and that fixture actually hit him in the side of the head luckily it just grazed his head but we always want to make sure nothing's gonna fall down between these rams when we're making a bend this spot right here is really good for your blueprint and if you've got it in your portfolio it'll sit on this and it's not going to fall in there or any it's not going to cause any problems so i'm going to take this off we've got the auto stop going we've got our foot control forward and reverse we're going to go forward and we'll watch i'll slide this over here it's going to make that bend and we don't have to try to guess and stop it on here this is just for reference if we have to do anything manual but it's going to go to 51 degrees and stop and then we will hit reverse we'll swing that out of the way and now we've got our tube that's bent to 45 degrees and that is our tube bender we've got our levels usually attached to this thing that's great when we're trying to make sure it's level and we're making a bend on something uh please be nice to these so that they don't get damaged make sure they're stuck to the bender when we're finished or back in the tool room